This demo is to show how to produce pitch tracks in PROT. First task is to open PROT itself. I'll arrange things so we can see the windows that we're going to need uh, together with this um, file that we're going to work with here. So uh, to open that file in the PROT objects window, I click open and read from file. Then a finder window uh, it will come up where uh, I can see what files are available on the desktop. There's the one I want and I click choose and now it's available. So I can play the file here. The rain in Maine. The rain in Maine. And now we can begin to visualize that file by clicking on view and edit. We'll get something more like the, more or less like this. The proportions of the image you get uh, may vary, but you can adjust them easily by clicking the lower right hand corner and dragging down or up, left or right, uh, as is appropriate in your circumstances. So um, now what we need to do uh, is two things. We need to learn how to use this window over here, the prot picture window, and we need to learn how to get the pitch track into the analysis that we're constructing here. So let's deal first of all with the um, uh, the prot picture window over here. The basic idea here is that what you do is you use this blue highlight, which you get just by clicking your mouse button and dragging, um, to select the area on the screen that you are on the, uh, the the picture that you're constructing that you want the material you're going to make an image of to go into. So if I wanted this um, image up here of this waveform to go into a space like this, what I would do is just collect, select the, the frame where I wanted the image to go, then go over here, and over here on the File menu, uh, I have Draw Visible Sound, which just means draw the, the waveform that you see here. So if I click that, uh, and I just accept all the default settings here, then I get that over here. So that looks very much like what I'm looking, looking at there. But let's suppose that for some particular purpose, I wanted a really, really thin rendition of the waveform. Um, well, I could get that as well by going over here and doing draw visible sound. Same thing as before, but now I get a a very squished version of the waveform, uh, which was created just because I selected only this very uh, thin, vertically, um, box for that image to be drawn in. Now, correspondingly, I could, of course, uh, choose have chosen a, a much shorter um, space left to right, uh, but a much deeper one, and done the same thing, draw a visible sound, boom, and now, I have three different renditions of the same waveform with very different proportions, which are controlled just by how I set up the blue box uh, at the start. So um, that's just playing around for demonstration purposes. Now I'll erase everything and um, go back to the next task. So the next question then is how do we get the pitch track added into uh, this image of the waveform here? Well, the way we do that in PROT is we go to the Pitch um, menu item here and simply click Show Pitch. And now we get the Pitch Analysis window added to the waveform that was there already. Now, as you can perhaps see, um, the, uh, the scale, the range um, of the uh, pitch track here is shown over here on the right-hand side. Um, these values from 75 cycles per second up to 500 are not, sh not actually very appropriate for the recording we're uh, working with here. So we can change those and the settings uh, I'm going to use instead of the default ones are 50 to 200. So for present purposes, you don't need to worry about where those numbers come from. Uh, just apply those, use those uh, in the exercises for chapter two. And uh, we'll deal with uh, 
how and why you set those uh, values later in the course. Um, now, we have our pitch track down here. Now, it doesn't look quite the way it does um, in um, the uh, textbook, but that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with that in a moment. So now let's try and construct a display over here that is going to look very much like the one uh, in the text. So I've chosen a kind of skinny window up top here, and what I want to do is put the waveform into that. So having selected that, I can go back over here and just say, draw the visible sound. It's going to do it automatically in that window, and there we have it. Um, now, as you see in the text, the, um, uh, the pitch tracks are drawn in a much deeper window. So if I choose a window size here that's uh, approximately like what I, what I want, now I go back over here to the pitch uh, menu, and you'll see that one of the options here is draw a visible pitch contour, which means just draw um, any uh, pitch contour which can presently be seen in the edit window, such as what we have from here to here in this display. So I click that, and uh, the one thing that's different here is I've chosen Speckle. Uh, that's the, the version, the, the, the way of drawing the pitch track that gives us the series of dots, similar to what you see in the textbook. So if I click OK, now the pitch track appears here. Now the waveform and the pitch track are aligned. That is to say the zero point here and the time point here, 4.244 seconds, 4 point, that's all lined up. So when you see something here, uh, this is the pitch value um, at this point in the waveform here. So this is a display of how the uh, pitch is changing over time in these two sounds uh, represented uh, in this um, one waveform up here. Now, if you want to print the um, image that we've constructed here, what you do is use the blue box just to select the entire image, the first thing that we drew, the waveform, and the pitch track as well. Then you go up here to the File menu, Save as PDF, um, give it a name, um, and save it, uh, in this case, just for clarity's sake, I'll put it here on the desktop, pit sample, PDF, click Save, um, and uh, it is here on the desktop now. And there it is. So that's how you generate a pitch track and the corresponding waveform in Proc.